What started out as a $215,000 project in 1945 turned into the multi-million dollar Memorial Arena in the fall of 1949. It was officially opened by a military dedication ceremony on September 25, 1949, exactly one year and five days later than the original target date. Despite the cost overruns and rancor, Memorial Arena was completed and a crowd of 5,000 attended the official opening. The Memorial's first manager was Joe Dukowski, a Regina transplant who had managed to win out over 79 other candidates for the Victoria job. Longtime managers Jack Morgan and John Bate followed, and when John retired in 1997, Murray Thomas was appointed the Memorial Arena's final manager. It wasn't always smooth sailing. Two days before the building's first anniversary, the time clock crashed on the ice when bolts holding it in place snapped. Then they needed to fix the arena's leaky roof and the cracks in some of its walls. In 1954, a new arena floor was needed. However, within four months of opening, the arena was making money. In its first six years of operation, 3.2 million spectators attended a variety of events. Hockey was the biggest, drawing almost one and a half million fans. Among the early arena attractions were the annual Ice Cycle Skating Show, Dancing Horses, and the Harlem Globetrotters. Ticket prices range from 50 cents to $2.95. The five-day Victoria J.C. Fair drew daily crowds of almost 4,000 in its inaugural year in 1950. Professional tennis made a stop in Victoria in 1954, featuring such top players as Bobby Riggs, Jack Kramer, and the two ponchos, Segura and Gonzalez. Harry James and Spike Jones brought their big bands to Memorial Arena, and although it was far from the acoustic marvel, the world-famous Red Army Chorus and the Victoria Symphony performed there. Vic High held their 100th anniversary show in the Memorial, and it was also the venue for the funeral of popular longtime CFAX 1070 sports director Ken the Dobber Dobson. Canadian figure skating championships also drew big crowds. The Memorial Arena twice hosted the Briar Canadian Men's Curling Championships in 1958 and again in 1984. That week-long event drew more than 86,000 spectators. The McDonald Lassie Women's National Curling Championships came to Memorial Arena in 1974. When comedian pianist Victor Borga played there, he thanked Air Canada for the loan of their hangar. There were plans for the city to operate a Pacific Coast Hockey League franchise, but the Stanley Cup and the Victoria Cougars were synonymous with Lester Patrick. He'd become known as hockey's Silver Fox, and when the Cougars re-emerged at Memorial Arena in 1949, Lester Patrick was in control. Cougar programs sold for 10 cents and the games were broadcast on CJVI, with Ted Reynolds doing the play-by-play.